Hey everybody, welcome back. So, just a couple of pictures real quick. Um, I know this is not an outdoor video, but I wanted to post this. This is a review I did of the Amtrak sleeper cab on the Texas Eagle. And uh, I want to share it. This was from last March. So it's an old video. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys. So I want to show you the bathrooms. So in this car, there's a shower and dressing room. There's one of these right here on this level. Uh, restroom, restroom. And a light comes on when you go in and lock the door. It says you're in there. Latch is shut. And then there's another lock. Um, obviously, no smoking on the train at all. But it's actually not bad at all. So. Um, there's your little sink, good water pressure, you actually have a plug if you gotta do your hair and stuff, uh, tissues, extra toilet paper, towels, which I didn't see for a long time, they're under the mirror, and there's no cups in there, but you don't want to use them cups anyways, particles on them, toilet seat covers, which are really small, I can't use them, <laughs> and uh, there's your holders, so that's the bathroom. So that's the shower room. Once again, it has a light that comes on. There's a bar soap there. I brought my own soap. Uh, hand towels, your washcloths. There's where you throw your uh, dirty towel. There's towels. And then here's the shower. Um, I'll show you the shower real quick. Shower is actually decently, decently sized. It's really nice. Um, you know, if you gotta sit, there's that. This actually comes off of this clip, and you can use it as a wand. I'm not gonna turn water, I don't wanna waste water, but basically push this button, and keeps pressure gone. And uh, it is nice warm water, if you want it to be, at least on this train. So, that shot's nice there, and uh, it's nice in here. It's not too, it's not too small, so, elbow to elbow for me. I'm pretty wide though, but not bad at all. Alright, so I don't know what room this is. There's a sliding door here. They have it all done up for whoever comes in here next, so I'm not going to touch anything. But, um, this might be the handicapped room. I think it might be the handicapped room. I mean, obviously anyone can rent it, but I think that's what it is. Um, because there's a toilet here that has an open space you can get to it. Um, and there's a bar that runs basically there. There's a bar that runs here, goes over to there. And then over here you have your bed and your bunk. And it's nice and open. So I think this may be the room that if you have a wheelchair or something, you can go in here. So from this end of the car, I said here's your shower and everything. Now this is the lower level. There's an upstairs level too. Here's uh, where people get on and off down here. Obviously emergency exits. Um, here's baggage. There's the stairs to upstairs. And I'm actually the only person down here. Everyone else got off on this level. It's just me alone on this entire level. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Um, I think... Okay, this is the bedroom, I believe. I believe that's what it is. See, it's got the... Well, that's the sleeper logo, but I think this is the bedroom, so we'll we'll see real quick. You know, I don't know if this is the bedroom, actually. Um, uh, the people that were in here just left a bit ago, so they're going to take care of this, this car and clean it up whenever we get to the next place. But, um... There are two bunk beds. I'm get This might be the family room, actually. I'm guessing it's the family room. But there's... I mean, a, like a huge bed here. I'm guessing this would be like a, a twin once it folds down. Here you'd have another small one. And then you got your bunk, bunk. And you have two air vents. A fold-out table. Fold-out table. And a, a nice hallway. So, obviously if you have a lot of people, or it's you and kids, this is probably the best one to get for that. But... You know, this, this room don't have the shower or anything. I'm guessing this is the family room because the, the, the bedroom I thought come with its own shower and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And once again, what I'm staying in 
is down here. So sliding door, slides open. And I will say for us being in Texas and it being very hot and humid, it's actually nice and cool in here for what it is. So I put my own blanket because I have my socks off and I keep laying my feet on my own blanket because I don't want to get on anything else. <clears throat> but you got one wall plug. I actually brought a power strip, but it wouldn't even fit in there. So yeah, um, let me turn this light on. Uh, ceiling, it's not the brightest but it works. Um, here's your steps to get up into the bunk, which is hard. It's, it's all right to get in, but coming down is kind of tricky. I use it as luggage storage. Um, you know, this folds down. I have this side folded down as the bed part, and I kind of sit on it nice and wide, or lay on it sideways and put my feet to this chair. Um, but yeah, I mean, you got a fold out table, which for me, it's just, it's too low. I mean, my my legs are big. Um, over there is your temperature control. I've had it set to cool since I got on at Chicago. My coat's hanging up there. It comes with two pillows in here, a blanket. There's another blanket up there, but I left it alone. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's nice in here. You got a mirror over there, nice window. The heating comes out of that vent, and believe me, it gets hot. If you have your heater on, you don't want to touch that. When I first got in here, I burnt myself on it. And basically, to lower this bunk, all you do is pull this lever, and then you can just pull the bunk down. But we're going to leave it up. Don't need it. And see how the vent is? That vent blows that cool air up into here if you sit there. If not, it blows it to here, down, and then comes down. So pretty nice I mean as far as space goes it's not a ton of space you know but it's all right um, door shuts you gotta this camera's weird with focus I apologize but it's small and it's easy to use in here um, so that shuts this latch goes over if I can get it latch goes over safety latch goes here above it so, curtains come across, these all Velcro. It is pretty dark in here once you do that. And we'll sit here for a second. These, um, these are also nice as well to shut. It keeps it really dark in here. There's a nice uh, light blue night light that lights the whole room up. Um, I had to have it off because I can't sleep with light on, but if you know you like having a light on it's it's a real nice light to keep some like ambient light in here but yeah i mean that's basically it you got your menu and everything it's nice i could finally talk down here it's been full of people but i'm at that last stop you know so the table folds down it's nice and nice and firm kind of heavy which is good and you got a like a was it checkers or chess right there folds down you got two <laughs> it's good these are called uh, cup holders because they do not hold bottles um, you get two bottles of water in here when you first get in and they have them leaned like that because it's very shallow but it does do a good job as long as the trains as steady as it's been for me this does hold them all right so if the train swings left or right the worst it would do is usually just slide. It's not going to really throw it off, so that's all right. But Amtrak, you should do some deeper bottle holders. I'm guessing they don't do them because um, for them to clean all of these rooms out and to clean in where the cup holder is, it'd probably be a pain because it's like a cup holder in your vehicle. It's hard to get sticky stuff out of it, so that's probably why they're shallow. Um, we're going to San Marcos. San Marcos, I believe. So, um, as far as food, the food is good. Obviously, this is the flexible dining menu. Some other trains from Amtrak, uh, they have like a really good menu. And some places cook it fresh. This is all heated. Um, but that's just how it is. So, yeah, um, they got these nice cups. They're not too flimsy. Um, hold the drink. And 
you can hold that to call someone which by the way if you do that it and you do it late at night it's gonna wake everyone up because it beeps in the hallway it doesn't just beep to someone and send them to you it if you if you beep it it's gonna be beep, beep out in the hallway loud so and then there's also these little touch lights that you can like move around these are awesome for someone that likes reading books I don't like reading books but it's it beams it all the way to that wall it's pretty good and these are uh, like sensor touch sensor I wish they were switches because half the time I try to t use them it doesn't even work um, there must be a reason to why it's to why it's like that but um, there's a cubby here I haven't even used that thing and these steps are pretty sturdy so also the bunk is very sturdy it's just real close to the ceiling is the only problem I have um, but yeah that's about it for the for the roomette I mean it's pretty simple once again if I put my shoulders so you're not gonna see me well but if I hold my hands like this put my shoulders there's about a half of a foot on each side if I'm sitting in the center of the seat um, also they, uh, the attendant will actually make your bed and everything. Yesterday I put mine down because I kind of wanted to. I kind of wanted to sit on the bed. Um, I wasn't going to bed. I was just sitting. Another thing, the horn. The horn. The horn. And the horn. Two more times. Come on. Is that it? I was wrong. Okay, but anyways, listen. The horn, you're gonna get used to it. Okay? I promise. I've been on this train for o over a day and a half. You get used to the horn, okay? Also, I took the longest trip on this train. It's Chicago to San Antonio. I took the whole thing. I'm, well, obviously I'm not there yet. Hopefully I don't derail or something, but we're like an hour and a half away or two hours away. By the way, Texas is massive. If you guys haven't been here, it's it's big. For no reason, it's just massive. But, yeah. So that's about it. I showed the rooms on this level. Um, you know, I have clips of the dining car and whatever, but every time I go up, people are eating. Um, a lot of the attendants sit up there and talk, uh, whatever they're, they don't have to be doing anything. And if you ring them or need help, then they'll help you. Um, yeah, uh, there are, there are breaks. There's some that they're so short, you don't even want to get off. But then there's some breaks where they got to do stuff to the train. So you can just hop off and you can just, you know, walk around. Um, I'd always ask for a time frame or you just want to stay close because I wasn't super close earlier and he didn't see me and he accidentally shut the door because I was down at the end. Um, so you just got to, you know, just stay close, you know, it's easier for them too because, you know, they, they yell all aboard but if you're too far and the train's gone, you don't even hear them. So just don't go wandering off. The one stop we had was 40 minutes long. So I was able to get off and walk all the way to the station and back and just do stuff. But the close ones, or the short ones, just stick close to the train. So, but yeah, I mean, someone that really smokes, you don't stop a lot. Because I know people that really smoke and need it. And uh, you definitely don't stop a ton to smoke if you're doing this whole route. Um, but, yeah, so, lots of trains. I don't even know where we're at right now, but yeah, I'm probably gonna uh, probably gonna upload this as its own video. Now that I think about it, because I've made it so long and showed so much in detail. Um, but if you have like questions, if you have questions on this video about uh, the sleeper train part of the Texas Eagle, put it down below. I've been through the whole thing, even though I didn't film upstairs. It's basically more bedrooms. Um, and your dining car and cafe car. So the cafe is on one side. Uh, people sit over there and get stuff that are in coach. Um, and then the other side is where they call us up for dinner. For dinner, for us at least on this train, and at least this time, 
they basically asked what we wanted off the menu when I like right when I first got on not long after um, I was asked what meal I want for the dinner for when I got on and then lunch and dinner I was asked what I want for the dessert part for the main course and what I want to drink um, breakfast was different breakfast uh, you go in once again for this situation at this time on this train um, there was continental breakfast on one of the tables um, and you could pick whatever you wanted there was cereal it was a really good selection for for sure um, but then if you go up to the car first come first serve um, there were breakfast made so there was the three egg omelet meal buttermilk pancakes and there was continental breakfast which was on the tailor so there was three egg omelet and buttermilk pancakes those were the two meals you could pick and then she'll just hand it to you and that's the breakfast which the food I've had no problems with the food like it's decent even though some of the stuff is just kind of a, a reuse of another thing like the, for the example the vegan meatballs which the vegan meatballs are really good and I love like I'm very picky with meat but they're better than like beef meatballs so that's not bad um, we're starting to break now a couple last things for in this video um, if you're on a train and they have this brownie right here you have to get this brownie okay I promise you it's worth it just get the brownie get the brownie so that should be it um, yeah that's it for this video if there's something I missed or something specific to you that you want to know just put it down in the comments and uh, oh also um, as far as noise cancellation uh, towards nighttime, I turned all my stuff down because I could hear in other rooms if someone even had their phone on and it was on like a, a medium level of volume, not even super loud, you could hear it. Um, there is a crack under the door. Um, there's a crack under the door, you know, stuff like that. Um, and I'm giving that tip for some people because I've been camping uh, specifically for couples. Couples, if you guys get what I'm trying to say here. Um, I've been camping before and been pretty startled um, from stuff I've heard, but I'm just saying if you're going to try to play music or something, the daytime you can do whatever, but you know, nighttime, try to keep it a little quiet. For the most part though, this is pretty sound insulated, for the most part, it's pretty good, but you can hear certain things, like someone was playing rap music, <clears throat> and I could hear like the, like the t -t 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 that part, so certain things I could hear for some reason, but... For the most part, it's good. So, that's it for this video. I'm going to leave it at that. Any questions down below, ask me. This is my first time ever on a train. I'm by myself. And I'm all the way in Texas. So, I took the whole route. And I can answer what you have to ask. Now, a ton of people, for some reason, comment, ask questions. I won't be able to keep up. But, I will see you guys in the next video.